Peace and blessings, everyone. And happy Friday to all of you powerful, powerful manifestors out there. I'm so happy to see you. So glad you joined my channel. I just thought I would stop by real quick. I'm taking a break from studying. I am studying for my uh, scuba divers certification. Pretty intense, a lot of good stuff here. Uh, and I'm really excited, also really nervous. Um, probably a healthy thing uh, to have a little bit of apprehension around that, but I'm super uh, looking forward to getting that done in the next couple of weeks. But anyway, I just want to take a break from that and come here and catch up with you guys and talk to you about something that's been on my mind kind of all day. And it's really a hot topic in the world right now. And it's the topic of, of race and privilege and so many other things we see going on around that in the world at large, uh, specifically here in the United States. And you guys know me, I always wanna talk about different topics as it relates to our vibration, as it relates to us and how we show up in the world. And so I am all about raising the vibrations. I am all about uh, also being present, being aware of what's going on in the world around us. And just making sure that we stay at a place that with all the world events going on, um, we find a way to continue to maintain those vibrations that are going to bring us the life that we desire um, and are meant to live. Um, so the topic of race, you know, it's really not an easy subject to discuss. Um, the topic of privilege and of preference and um, it's really not an easy subject to discuss and it's not a simple subject to discuss and to digest in one small 15 minute segment. But what, what I will say is that um, obviously you guys can see I'm a black male. Um, I'm a gay black man in America who's conscious and who's spiritual and who's I just kind of live by my own rules. You know, that, that's always been me. And I've been embracing that more and more and more. And so, you know, by, I guess by standard or by, uh, if you look at how things normally go, I should be one of the most discriminated people um, and the most marginalized of all the marginalized groups um, as a gay black man. And, you know, I got to tell you, my experience in life has been quite different. Uh, it's been, you know, I, I grew up in a military family on a base and in a school where we had lots of foreign exchange students, um, lots of diversity, lots of different cultures and lots of different ethnicities mingling together. And so we learned really quickly uh, that we were the same. And so for me, the idea of them and us, even though I grew up in the South, I just always had a different mentality. But the idea of them and us and them versus us it just never really resonated with me. Um, and so, you know, fast forward to the events going on today, it, it's very unfortunate when you have an individual, a group, an entire culture of people that are discriminated upon, uh, treated a certain way, looked at a certain way because of their skin color, their gender, their sexual identification, their orientation, you name it. Uh, these things that make us who we are, it's very unfortunate when people take and discriminate or discount or abuse us or, or what have you for those things. And those things certainly happen in the world, but I, I wanna tell you, vibration is everything. All is mine, the universe is mental. And so I, I acknowledge, um, if you're watching this video and you have experienced any form of segregation, any form of discrimination, any form of hatred, of, of bigotry, of, of, of anything like that. If you've experienced that, um, love to you. I, I, I send you love. I've certainly experienced it in certain arenas, in certain areas. Um, mine was quite different. Um, and I felt really uncomfortable talking about it for the longest time because the very first place where I experienced overt racism was when I came out and started living living openly gay and in the gay community, fun, funny enough, was where I started to experience a lot of, um, and I started to be more conscious, I'll say, and I'll talk about that in a minute, the consciousness of uh, racism and um, 
segregation. But I started to experience a lot of that in this place, um, the gay community where I was, I was looking for community and belonging and family. And while I found community, longing and family, I also experienced a lot that I internalized and I kept and I built upon as this is happening because I'm black and this is happening because I came out late in life and this is happening because of this and because of the way I am and because of the, all these different things and all these stories that we often build. And so while honoring everybody's experience, while honoring your struggle and what you've gone through and my heart goes out to you but from my personal experience in my life it may have started with an action that someone may have done toward me or a comment or a slight uh, or someone saying i'm not into black men or i'm not into and i took that and built an entire life around it and gave that thought a life of its own and that's what we're dealing with a lot right now, it, it's a vibration. It's an energy that we all continue to collectively lend to this idea of white privilege or of someone is better or someone is lesser or one particular group is marginalized. Even though it's actually happening in our reality and it's an actual thing that we see that the poverty lines and then you had redlining years back and then you had, you know, segregation and then you had, and now you have you know, police brutality and you have different things that, that we all look at and we say it's unfair. But again, like I always talk about taking responsibility and this is not to say you caused the trauma and the, the negativity that came your way. But what, what the point I wanna drive home in my life, I had to learn that it doesn't matter if the initial action was my fault my responsibility is not to perpetuate that energetic cycle of feeling less than, of feeling like someone has privilege over me, not to continue that language of they got white privilege and the white folks don't want us there and the black folks don't do this and the, the Mexicans and, the, and all of this lingo and all of these things, these ideas we throw back and forth and we don't realize that we, we continue to co-create our existence. And that at any moment, we can co-create a different existence. What we see here, it, I mean, in the four agreements, it talks about it. There's a, a section in the four agreements before he gets into uh, at the very beginning where he talks about like even our words. We all agree that something is a fork and we all collectively agreed. And now a fork is a fork or a plate is a plate because we all collectively had this idea that this is what it was going to be called. And that's what it is all over the world. And so the same thing with these different things we experience as a planet, as a species, as a collective, we experience these things of, of racism, of bigotry, of misogyny, of so many different things because it's, there's so many different reasons, but what we can do in our own individual worlds when people are behaving like assholes, when people are behaving in a way that you just want to go and punch their teeth out when people, you know, and, and maybe something worse. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, it gets like that sometimes. But when people are behaving in those type ways, we can empower ourselves. And this isn't just some pie in the sky, say some affirmations, say some words. This is real stuff. All is mind. The universe is mental. And so when we continue to lend, I talked about in the video before this, when we continue to lend our attention, pay attention, extend, reach out, give attention to these old ideals, these ideologies that white versus black, them versus us, Jew versus that, and we continue to perpetuate that, like we do that on a daily basis with our mindsets um, and with our words and then the way we continue to go about life feeling like we don't belong here or feeling like, you know, understand that each and every one of us, um, because I think about like the men that said to me, I'm not into blacks. And they said it in such a stinging way and it hurt, but it's like, you know, on one hand, you know, yeah, sure. It's their right to be into what they're into, but that's their conditioning. That had nothing to do with me. That was the way they were conditioned 
to grow up and and only be open to a certain thing because that maybe that's all they knew in their life or or, or whatever maybe you know the point is is we don't have to get lost and caught up in all of the what is and why and why did they think like that and why did they say that and none of that stuff serves us in our vibration and in moving us forward in our elevation as a species none of those things none of the what is none of the you know and, and you know and i have nothing against going out and protesting and raising awareness and going out holding signs and holding marches but quite honestly you know we've been marching for how long how many decades have we been doing marches and holding demonstrations for the same things but in our personal lives we come back and we don't change our lingo we still see it as this them versus us you know even when i look at people that are out protesting they don't look happy they don't look rejoiced and refreshed and refilled. You know, yes, there, there, there's a time for, for anger and injustice and for an outcrying um, for change. But when it starts to drain you and you look depleted and you look like, like the life has been zapped out of you, you have to ask yourself, is that anger at that injustice, is it, is it helping your vibration? And in the long run, is it going to get us to where we go? I read something in a book and I don't remember who quoted it. It was like a nameless quote, but it was in a morning meditation book. And the guy simply said, um, how you get there is where you arrive. And I quote that really often, like the way we go through things, once we get there, that's how it's going to be for us. And so if I leave you with nothing else in this video, we can get into this whole thing about justified anger what's right, what's wrong, they did this, and we have a right to feel like this, you're right. You're right. You have a right to feel how you want to feel and express, but if you want to elevate and move forward, I am not saying not to speak out and not to address things because certainly there's a lot that needs to be addressed and helped, but we often skip over the vibration, the mentality part when we're out protesting and, and speaking out about racism and we sit back in our little communities and we have these ideals about you know what the other and I even hate saying the other side because there's no them there's no us there's no this side and that side it, it's just us it's all of us and we continue to build on top of this shitty foundation of them and us they're marginalizing us they're taking all the wealth we got the shitty jobs. We got the problems. They got the this. They got the... And we keep blaming. And it's time out for that. And so in raising our vibration, we have to begin to change our language when it comes to the topic of race, of bigotry, of misogyny, of sexism, of homophobia, of... As long as you continue to see yourself and carry the narrative and the verbiage that someone is taking advantage of you, it's going to keep happening. We can move toward and vibrate ourselves toward a better reality than we see and truly work towards it all while keeping our mindset and our vibration at a higher level to where we don't give into this victimhood, marginalization. I think I'm gonna stop right there, but I just I just want that to soak in. Just understand that it, it's we continue to perpetuate it. It's not Donald Trump, it's not Barack Obama, it's not you know. We want to blame those things and those people, but again, we each have a responsibility for the course and the direction that we as a planet are going. So what are you gonna do? I love you guys. Don't forget to like this video and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Good night, and I love you. Mwah. Peace.